Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through problem eight. In problem eight, um, it says a tank contains 50 liters of oil at time t equals four hours. So um, that's to say V of four is equal to 50. Okay, and 50 liters that is, right? So the volume of the tank is 50 liters at um, time t equals four hours. Sorry, I want to write that better. <clears throat> okay, got it. And it's not really much better. Anyway, uh, oil is being pumped into the tank at a rate R of t. So R of t must equal V prime of t. That is, R of t is the rate of change of volume. Here, it's V doesn't stand for volume, uh, for, for velocity, V stands for volume, sorry about that. It's a volume. So if V of T is volume, V prime, the rate of change of volume is what we're referring to as R of T here. So oil is being pumped into the tank at a rate R of T, where R of T is measured in liters per hour, that makes sense, if the volume is in liters, then liter in liters per hour seems about right. And t is measured in hours. Okay, we figured. Selected values of r of t are given in the table above. That is, um, the value of r of t for particular t values is given here. Got it. I wonder what we're going to do with, it, with this. Um, and it says, using a right Riemann sum with three subintervals and the data from the table above, what is the approximation of the number of liters of oil that are in the tank at time t equals 15? So that is to say, find V of t at time t equals 15. That is, find the volume of, um, what is this, oil, and um, at time t equals 15 hours. Okay, so we just need to find V of 15. Hmm. How do we get to V of 15? Well, one thought is that we know V of 15 minus um, V of 4 must be the integral from 4 to 15 of, um, of R of T. That is, well, if you want you know, this to be V of, then you must have V prime of T in here. But V prime of T was another name for R of T. So we could say that V of 15 minus, and again, we're after V of 15. V of 15 minus V of 4 is the same as 4 to 15 R of T DT. Another way to get it, um, well, solving, let's finish. Solving for V of 15, we get v of 4, which we already know, is 50 plus the integral from 4 to 15, r of t, dt. It's added v of 4 to both sides in this last line. Okay, well, we could arrive at the same correct conclusion, which is what we need to find in order to an answer the question correctly. Um, we could get to that conclusion. Uh, by doing this also. Well, look, we're after the volume at t equals 15 hours. Well, to get there, um, since the table can only help us find the change in volume uh, from 4 to 15, uh, and therefore the integral, from 4 to 15 of r of t dt. So this represents a change in volume from time t equals 4 hours to time t equals 15 hours, right? So that, that integral. So since, since we want the um, volume of oil at 15, we must take the change in volume from time t equals 4 to 15 and add on to this however much we started off with at t equals 4 hours. So what we came in with before we got to t equals four hours and that was 50 liters. So 50 liters plus the change in volume from four to 15 
together should get us V of 15. Um, notice that is the volume at a T equals 15 hours. Notice that this is identical to this. Great. So the rest of it is just doing the Riemann sum. So, um, and what do they want? Right Riemann sums? So fine, right Riemann sums, easy. So clearly the three intervals suggested by the table are four to seven, that's one interval. The next one is seven to 12. And the one after that um, will be uh, 12 to 15. And therefore our three delta x's which is the width of the three rectangles we'll, we'll have to use will be three there yeah that was an ugly three three there that's equally ugly but whatever okay that's five and that's a five yes okay no no fine i'll redraw the five you're used to my fives um sorry guys i really like doing four now five whatever and then this is three again. So those are the three widths of the rectangle. It's great. But because we're using right Riemann sums on each of the intervals, we'd use the value um, on the right end. So we'd use the value of R of T at um, seven, at 12, and at 15 in our comp computation, right? So um, because we're using right Riemann sums. So that's going to say uh, three times um, uh, three times R of seven plus five times R of 12. That was kind of too many parentheses, but whatever. You get it, plus three times R of 15. And of course, all of this is to estimate the integral from four to um, 15 of R of T dt. That's why we're doing all of this, right? Okay, great. And, um, so then using the table values at seven, it looks like it's 6.2. So we want three times 6.2. Okay, plus five times R of 12 is 5.9. I'm just going, going to use six. Um, I, I don't think we need to be too precise. We need to be pretty precise, but not too precise. And I know we don't have a calculator, so I want to guesstimate a little. And then it's three times R of 15. So three times, um, 5 plus 0 0.6, which in fact is 5.6, right? Okay, R15, sorry. I, I have my reason for writing it oddly like that. And so six, six times, six, 3 times 6.2 should be um, 18.6, right? And then we have plus 30, and then plus 15 plus 1.8, right? Okay, that's 16.8, so 18.6 plus together these two guys make 16.8 and the easiest of them all to add on is 30 and this is going to be 18.6 and 16.8 the 18 and the 16 combine to uh, 34 right and then 0 0.6 and 0.8 uh, 1.4 so uh, 35.4 plus 30 is um, so 35.4 plus 30 is roughly equal to 65.4. So that would lead us to believe that the answer is this. And we know that we over approximated a little because we used six in place of 5.9. So it's completely fair that the answer would be A. But then of course we would have jumped the gun because look, we must add 50 onto that. So you could have done everything right and gotten this question wrong simply because you were not paying attention. What I just boxed, 65.4, is an approximation for this, but before it is a 50 that we must add on to 65.4 to get roughly um, this answer right there. That's a correct answer. So, yeah. And again, we over approximated that a little. Um, 50 is, would get us to 115.4, but we know, okay, um, from the get-go that we over-approximated uh, this integral. Okay, cool. All right, I hope this helps. Take care.